so we got to familiarize ourselves with this platform. We got to get to that point where we are with the LML, where we we know everything about that platform. We know just exactly how far we can turn it up, exactly how it's going to react. We know when it's our fault, when it's the truck's fault. We know what to expect, and we're not there yet with the L5P. We'll get there. It'll take time, and that's what the next few weeks, the next few months, the next thousands of miles are going to be about. The launch of the L5P was an exciting time for Duramax enthusiasts. Coming off the LML engine, which was very strong, 400 horsepower, up to a 445 horsepower output, totally redesigned bottom end, totally redone fuel system, new engine control module, Allison gets a few updates. I mean, when I first picked this truck up in December of 16, I was really impressed. The truck felt like it had uh, all the torque response of a normally tuned truck in a factory platform. And then with all those extra beefy parts, I thought, man, this thing's gonna really take some serious horsepower. We'll turn these up and really get some mustard out of them. Fast forward a couple years, finally able to get into the ECU with help from HP tuners. What that means for us is that now we can edit, now we can flash, now we can data log and do what we do as tuners to get the most out of this platform. HP tuners had us on the dyno with their truck, with their dually. I got to test around with that one for a full day. That was fun. Made an extra 100 horsepower really easily. Got to find a few holes in the data logger that they patched up. Add a few tables to the editor, which they also uh, added gladly. What we really need to do now is drive the truck. And that takes time. It takes time in the seat. It takes time with the trailer. It takes time on the dyno. It's just racking miles up and seeing how the emission system performs, seeing how the truck tolerates the extra power seeing what the uh, limitations of the turbocharger, limitations of the fuel system, how the truck's gonna reject heat under heavy load. And we're not there yet with the L5P. We'll get there, it'll take time. And that's what the next few weeks, the next few months, the next thousands of miles are gonna be about. Familiarizing ourselves with the platform as tuners and being able to tell you guys what to expect as far as upgrading the truck goes. How do you make 500 horsepower? How do you make 600 horsepower? When is it time to upgrade the turbocharger? When is it time to put bigger injectors and a bigger pump in the truck? I can tell you we're just on the tip of that stuff right now. We're seeing that this truck likes the extra fuel pressure. The high pressure fuel system is very capable. Small improvements in uh, injector on time are yielding big results for us in the horsepower department. The amount of pressure that the system is going to tolerate, you know, starting at 29,000 psi and easily moving up to 31, 32, 33,000 psi. Uh, we've been testing and we've been seeing really positive results from that. Again, we're just on the tip of the iceberg here, but so far, promising, exciting. Everything as a diesel enthusiast that you've come to expect and come to get excited about on a new platform. There is one element that maybe isn't quite as exciting, and that is price. At $2,500 to unlock the ECM and $200 to unlock the TCM, you're talking about a $2,700 entrance fee just to play. So that's just before you would do anything that you would do on a previous model of your truck. On top of that, you're going to have to pay for tuning credits. So $500 for the transmit or for the engine control module, $200 for the transmission control module. And then we as tuners have time into this thing, and we need to be compensated for the, for the tunes that we write. We don't know where we're going to be on that price yet, but it's probably not going to be any less than you'd pay for an LML. And we don't know when exactly we're going to release those yet, because being first to product, being first to market is one thing, being best in the market is something else. We want to make sure we're best before we, before we release, before we tell you about the product, before we call ourselves experts. We need to get there. First impressions as a driver, strong truck. They were strong truck stock. I mean, 405 horsepower is nothing to sneeze at. In an LB7, you're getting pretty close to a trans build at that point. But on an L5P, 405 horsepower, awesome smooth power delivery. The Allison feels really happy. The truck is quiet, easily tolerates the power. You roll on this thing. Thirty-three, thirty-four pounds of boost. It's got some power. It's got some potential. But just having potential and just showing that it can make power doesn't mean that it's going to be happy long-term making power. It doesn't mean that the emission system is going to tolerate it long-term. And really, we need to see, you know, see what our relationship with that system looks like. 
see how much capacity it has, see how well the turbocharger controls the air fuel ratio, see if we need to upgrade the turbocharger. 